In this video, I'm just going to show how to create a new Unity project. And it's pretty straightforward, but I'm going to walk through it anyhow. So you can either, maybe you have a desktop icon for it, otherwise you can hit the Start menu and type in Hub. And I want to go ahead and start the Unity Hub app. And once that loads, you'll see a list of all of the projects, all the Unity projects on your computer. Now you might not have any projects right now and that's fine. So just disregard the fact that I have a whole long list of them here. And uh, at this point, what you do wanna do, uh, you can see this drop down. you'll see all the versions of Unity that you have. Uh, what you wanna do is create a new project. So you click new and you choose the version of Unity that you would like to use. So I'll hit new and my default version is 2019.1.6 uh, that was the most recent version when I made this video and now I can choose what template I would like to use to make my new project I guess before I get to the the template stuff uh, one of the good cool things about Unity Hub is it's actually it might seem weird but it's not all that uncommon to have lots of versions of Unity. Uh, and that's because different projects you're working on may be on a specific version and developers sometimes don't want to risk updating because it might introduce an issue. So if you have a project that's working great on 2018.3, you may not want to update it to 2019.1, but you know you may be starting a new project and you want to have the new project have all the latest and greatest features so it makes sense to also download that version so anyway that's why it's not so uncommon to have several different versions of unity anyhow if you hit new it'll just use the default version that you have uh, if you click the drop down it'll list them all I'm gonna choose the latest version that I have to make my new project and here is where I can choose the templates um, for now, just go ahead and choose 3D, that's fine. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about some of the other ones, um, but at this point, let's just go with 3D. You can click the little I here to learn more about um, what that means to use that template. And I need to give it a name, so I'm just gonna call this one um, New Project Example. You can call it whatever you like, uh, and you know, pay attention to where you are saving your uh, project as well. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing inside of this D colon documents Unity projects, but you can put yours wherever is gonna be easy for you to find or wherever is convenient for you. All right, so now I'm all ready to rock here. And what, what happens when I hit create is this will actually make a folder inside of this location named after whatever my project name is. So if I hit create, I'll get an, a new folder called new project example inside of this location. And so I'll just wait for the splash screen and it takes a little bit to start a new project. So you just gotta be patient. I'll go ahead and pause the video so that we can skip through this. Okay, so now that my project has finished uh, creating, it should open the Unity Editor and it'll look something like this. And uh, right off the bat, I wanna point something out. Eventually, I'll talk a little bit about errors. But if you see, like sometimes when you start Unity, you just get weird errors at the beginning. This is a good example. You know, you can just ignore this and hit clear. So, I want to point out a little bit of the structure of a Unity project before we start learning all about this interface. If you go and click on the Project tab here, or the Project window, uh, and you'll see like a little mini folder hierarchy, um, and it starts with Assets, and then inside of Assets there's Scenes. Um, this is a little folder structure that exactly mirrors uh, actual folders that Unity has created on your computer, on your hard drive. So if I were to right click on the assets directory 
or right click on any anything in this project window any of the folders or files within it uh, I can right click and hit show and explorer or if you're on Mac it'll say finder and this will take you to inside of your project to exactly whatever you right clicked on and it's really useful for when you need to you know look at a, a certain asset um, in your operating system or if you just forget where your project was this is like a super fast way to find it so if I forgot where I saved this I could right click on assets here hit show and explore and this will take me right to my project because remember I saved mine into this documents unity projects and then the name of my project was new project example so a unity project is essentially just a folder on your computer that has other specific folders in it so it's always every unity project is going to have basically these these folders inside but the the important ones uh, the the most important at least is this assets directory and that's what you see mirrored in the project window of the unity editor so if I look in the scenes folder I see something called sample scene if I look in the scenes folder in uh, in Windows Explorer I see sample scene and you're also gonna notice this little meta file it's just there for everything in my project there's an associated dot meta file and you wanna leave these be unity will automatically generate one for every file you add to your project and they just help unity unity internally keep track of um, your files and important settings so don't delete them they are important and uh, you'll just have to get used to living with these meta files that are going to be matching all of your actual files. So a scene file, by default we just have one scene file and scenes are like levels. We'll talk about them in a minute. But that's all I think I want to cover in this video is just how to create a project and then just understanding that a Unity project uh, lives on your hard drive and it's just a folder and that folder structure is mirrored uh, in this project window so and, you know inside of assets I can make a new folder uh, so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna hit create and I'm gonna hit folder and I'm just gonna call this uh, test and then take a look back in my uh, Windows Explorer I'll go inside of assets and then there's that test folder if I go inside of this test folder in Windows Explorer and I right click and I make like a new um, I can make a new text document and I'll just I'll leave the default name whatever that's fine and then I look inside of unity inside the test folder there's the document so it's just exactly the same it's kind of just an alternative view um, of folders on your actual computer so at its root a unity project is just a folder on your computer that um, contains a bunch of assets that make up your game so that's all we need to talk about in this video we'll get into the rest of this interface soon